Hey everybody, it's Brad again, uh, here with another uh, embroidery video for you. Today what I'm going to show you how to do is upgrade your embroidery works either advanced or everyday um, to use the new AccuQuilt applique um, patterns. Uh, what this does is uh, combines the, uh, the AccuQuilt cutting dies with your embroidery. Um, and I'm going to do a video explaining exactly what I mean by that. Uh, but first I want to show you how to get the upgrade because it's not um, completely self-explanatory. Um, so the first thing you do is open your web browser. Um, I've got my web browser open here. And go to your um, taskbar up here or your, you know, whatever, wherever you put in the website. And type in www.designersgallerysoftware.com. Okay designersgallerysoftware.com. Now here's a little banner like telling you about that uh, you know they've got this upgrade to embroidery works blah blah blah. Alright so we go up to um, support and choose product updates downloads and then hover over embroidery works here and left click on that. It'll take you to this screen here. Now um, depending on whether you have uh, embroidery works every day or if you're using Windows or Mac is going to depend on which one of these you click on. Um, for instance, if you have uh, Microsoft Windows, uh, you know Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows XP, whatever, whatever Windows you're running, uh, and you have Embroidery Works Every Day, you're going to click on this right here, where it says Embroidery Works Every Day Update. Now, if you have Advanced, you click on the Advanced one. If you have a Mac, same same deal. I'm going to do the Windows one here. All right. So, uh, say you have Embroidery Works Every Day Windows, we're going to left click on this, and then you go over here left click on download and it'll download a file onto your um, onto your computer it mine automatically comes up down here it starts downloading it um, on yours it it may ask you where you want to save it to what you need to do is save the file um, and then there's another thing you have to do once once you once you open uh, once you download this file you then have to open it so um, and it's a zipped file. So if you don't know how to unzip uh, a zipped file, basically as long as you're running any kind of relatively modern version of Windows, you just double click on the file um, or tell it, uh, instead of telling it to save, you tell it to run the file. Now mine, uh, I have uh, Google Chrome, it doesn't give me that option. If you have Windows or if you have um, Internet Explorer, one of the options would be to run the or open the file or something like that. At any rate, um, you download the file and you need to double click it so I did kind of a shortcut there but what you would do is double click on on your folder and then extract this folder now I have again I've got WinRAR here instead of you know everybody might have a different version of the unzipping program mine looks like this yours might look a little different but somewhere there'll be a button that says extract so you need to extract the files and then once they're extracted inside this folder there is the manual for it and the um, a folder that has the the setup program in it so you go into the setup program and then you run this one embroidery works 1105 setup.exe so and then that'll it'll just go automatically from there uh, automatically install it and everything so once you've got it installed the next thing you need to do is on this very same page we go down here and click here where this little link is click here to get the AccuQuilt shape library you actually have to add the the shapes in manually um, and it's not hard it's just you have to do it so you click on this here takes you to another little guy, uh, another little um, page. Now, there's three links on this page. The first one is the files that you need. Okay, so you click on AccuQuilt Library. It'll download, again, another, another zipped fo uh, folder, and you extract the files, um, you know, into uh, wherever you're downloading your files to. You know, it's your downloads folder or whatever. Um, so you extract these files, and inside here are these BX. Shut up these BX files, these are the libraries that we're going to be importing into Embroidery Works. All right. um, so these other two files, this is a list of the included dies. So this is a list of all of the applique patterns that are included in this upgrade. And then the next one is the instructions for how to, how to import the, the library. So um, I'm going to show you briefly how to do it, but if you forget, you can go, you know, just look at this page so right here, instructions for installing tells you how to do it. All right. So once you've got your files downloaded and extracted, and the, and you've run the um, 
the the installer and everything you're gonna open up your embroidery works every day or you know advanced or whichever one you have you open it up and then the libraries button is this gear looking thing I know it's weird it says merge design when you hover over it but what it does is it opens up your, your library so you cl click on this it really ought to say like libraries or something instead of merge design because that's kinda confusing but um, what you're gonna do is you're not gonna have all these that I have because I've already imported mine um, but you're gonna go in and hit import catalog and then navigate to wherever you extracted the files to so in my case it's in my eDrive users Brad downloads AccuQuilt library yours if you're using the default settings on your computer I mean I don't know whether you are or not but if you are it would be in uh, C drive users and then your username and then a folder called downloads and then AccuQuilt library that's where it would be after you extract the files um, if you are using the default settings of your your you know the way that it the computer wants to download the files um, out of the box if you changed it you're on your own you gotta figure out where you where you saved it to alright but you go and one by one you do each one of those which is what I've already done and that's why I have these here uh, and now now they're installed. So the next video I'm going to do is uh, explaining how to use these things and and why you would you know care why you want to do this, what it's for. Uh, but I wanted to make sure that I put up a video that explains how to install it because um, as you can see, it's not exactly self-explanatory and there's not really a whole lot of guidance um, on the the website. It just kind of assumes that you know how to unzip files and such. So if you have any questions, um, leave a comment and I will try to. Uh, address any confusion uh, that that may result in this if you're having trouble um, so that's it for this video uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make the next one that uh, I actually explain all this stuff now thanks